Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. I uh, hope you guys are staying cool out there. I want to bring you some information by the conversation if you need verification for the storyline. Um, right now, we are in a pandemic currently of the COVID-19 virus. There is also a eviction landlord crisis going on due to this COVID-19 virus. And this um, moratorium, for those who don't know what that is, I had to look it up, that was in the said article. A moratorium is a legal authorization to debtors to postpone payment. Right now, there are federal, state, and local um, evictions on hold because of the pandemic. And this moratorium... More, excuse me, moratorium, excuse me, as I state, is a legal authorization to debtors to postpone payment. So a lot of people are not having to pay rent or have been um, paying rent for whether it's because they haven't made enough money, they haven't gotten their stimulus check, they haven't gotten unemployment. Because, you know, at one time, a couple months ago, there were people trying to get on the unemployment lines in their cities in their towns and they couldn't even get on i don't know that's how that situation is working out because i haven't talked to anyone directly who was drawing unemployment for them to give me feedback to tell me what it's been like in this state uh dealing with the unemployment but most of you know there are a lot of people who did uh basic work under the table those there are people who worked at bars, uh, restaurants who basically didn't get a check, such as waitresses and waiters. They mainly filed off their tips. They lived off their tips. So those said people, um, I don't know the criteria for what they would draw um, as far as unemployment benefits. Naturally, they get a check, but it's like zero because they didn't. They, like, as I state, their income is based off their tips and not an hourly wage because the hourly wage in most states is like only a couple dollars an hour, so it's mainly zero. But still, they can verify that they work for the said company restaurant, so they're entitled, of course, to get uh, unemployment. But the issue is the non-payment of rent. I understand that uh, uh, homeowners. Property management have to be able to pay bills and eat as well. It is a conglomerate. It is a big business. So I'm not trying to diminish a property manager's, landlord's job of trying to get rent money. But as I state, those who possibly worked for mom and pop restaurants, um, low-grade paying situations, have they gotten the full amount of money to pay rent? Because you see, where the problem is going to come in, I found out that, okay, people are getting $600 a week in unemployment benefits. But did everyone who filed unemployment get $600? Because as I stated, I haven't talked to anyone directly to know if this said person over here, 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 here actually got the $600. And that's where the problem is going to come in. If you did get the $600 a week, I hope you did and are currently paying your rent. Because there's no need, in you, no need in you getting put out to the street when you were getting the said money. Now, what would keep someone from not paying their rent? Do they owe this, that, that? I don't know. Because like I said, everyone's situation is different. And I don't want to get on here and judge anyone's situation. But what I will say is that everybody has to live. And I understand the landlord, the manager, the property owner who rents a house, duplex, which is so every apartment building, need their money to stay afloat as well. Because they have to pay uh, taxes on the building, the said property, the house that they're renting to you. So they are obligated as well. And that's what I'm trying to say. If everyone who drew unemployment in America actually got $600 a week since this pandemic started, then they should be able to pay their landlord, property owner, for the said space that they are renting. But, as you know, there will be people who do not pay their rent for whatever reason, even when there wasn't a pandemic. People make money and they won't pay, or people don't make enough to pay the rent. And they get behind, they don't follow through, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the routine. And that's where we're at right now. It's that this 
moratorium is a postponement to pay the said money to the landlord. And it is in a dire situation at the current moment because a lot of people, as I state, were not working, not getting money. You have to count how long it took for them to start drawing their money from unemployment. And naturally, if they were already behind in rent, let's say three or four hundred dollars, perhaps now you're waiting another month or two to get your unemployment going. That would cause a problem to start paying back money owed to your landlord. You will be in a hole because let me tell you something. Once you're one month behind in rent, I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're paying four hundred a month, you're paying six, you're paying eight. It's all the same. You don't have the money. Let's just say you honestly don't have the money. Once you finally get the money, you've got to now go in the rears and try to pay what you owe and still currently live and sustain yourself. And that's where the problem comes in. Waiting to get your set income. God forbid you already owe these people money or behind on other things such as car note, car insurance, whatever you owe and then you start getting your money. Now you've got to try to divvy up that money, divide that money up and pay your landlord, car note, this and that. Eat, eat, toilet paper, food. You see where I'm going? It's a rough situation. And I frequent the Facebook marketplace a lot. I buy on there. I sell on there. And I am seeing a lot of people cleaning out their homes, their garages. A lot of people are having garage sales. A lot of people are moving out. I have seen, I'm seeing a lot of people, and I mean all walks of life, apartment dwellers, home owners, renters, whatever. People are moving out of homes, whether it be they're downsizing or they couldn't make their mortgage or they're being evicted. Whatever the situation is, I'm just seeing a lot of people selling items on the marketplace. And I know that when you're seeing homeowners and apartment dwellers selling items out their places, you know there's something up. And I'm assuming it's got a lot to do with this situation here with the pandemic. College students having to leave their said apartments uh, studio apartments or whatever because school ended and they need to get out because naturally no school possibly no work now they've got to go get out that said place and possibly go back home or go somewhere so we're in a crisis right now with the eviction situation and this moratorium which is um, a legal authorization for debtors to postpone payment to their uh, landlord and check this article out by the conversation tell me what you think Tell me your situation if you want to elaborate and express your feelings on this um, uh, channel. I am open to all conversation, as long as it's, you know, decent talk. I'm open to it all. As I state, I don't wish anything ill to anyone. And I understand what is going on in America. I understand this was a problem even when there wasn't COVID-19. Landlords trying to get their money. People not making enough money. And that is the thing that America needs to understand a lot of Republican Party, I'm going to go ahead and say it, a lot of wealthy people, well-to-do people, politicians do not understand what it's like to struggle. You see, if you've never had to struggle for anything, you don't know what it's like to be behind on anything. And if you haven't been taught how to manage money, how to save your money, then you are in a pickle. And you will always be in a pickle until, one, you get viable education, viable employment, and save your money. That's just common sense. You have got to save your money. And I want to also say in this video to those of you who have gotten stimulus money, income tax returns, and all of that, you need to be trying to save your money because we do not know how things are going to turn out. Winter is approaching in a couple of months, and we don't know what this country is going to be like. You need to try to hold on to your money. You need to take whatever money you are getting from whichever avenue Buy the things you need, such as food and toiletries. Because you're going to need food. You're going to need toilet paper, soap, shampoo, those type of things. You want to buy that in bulk if you can, if you have the said money. Now, naturally, there are people who are drawing Social Security disability. They can't go out and buy, you know, two months supply of shampoo, toilet paper, paper towels, that type of thing. Because they only get limited amount of money. And those said parties are not have not even received the stimulus check because they said they that they needed to file some in some articles they need to file then the flip side was well if you're already drawing a check you got direct deposit it's going to go directly into that 
But as you see, I brought your article. At least 35 million people have not received a stimulus check one. Stimulus check two is, has been approved. When it will be released, I do not know. But as I state, still people not got the first check. People being evicted. But courts are tied up. That's a problem. So you're just buying time. And that's why I said if you are receiving any type of money from work, part-time work, stimulus check, income tax, which is so ever, pay your landlord, please. Because you do not want to be on the street. And we also know that Section 8 HUD will probably be overloaded because people will now need housing and a place to live. And that goes by 30% of your income. And if you are in need of housing, listen to Big Ange. Go and apply to your local Section 8 HUD office. Apply to apartments that go by your income if need be. Go outside your area, suburbs, a few towns over. You do what you have to do to survive. Don't sit there and let somebody put you out to the street. There are organizations that can help you. So go to your local HUD office in your town or city or neighboring towns and cities and get help with housing if you think you're going to be put out because there is no need in you going to the street, whether you are single or you have children. And I'm saying this to people because a lot of you like to procrastinate and you don't like to follow through and you might be using this COVID-19 as an excuse to just loaf off and goof off. But this isn't the time because you do not want to be on the street. You have people who are already homeless, destitute, and I'm sure a lot of them don't want to be where they are. And you do not want to be one of those said people out on the street. Utilize the funds that you are getting from the government at this point. Take care of yourself. Take care of your bills, your old debts. And I would also say to many Americans who are able to still work, maybe pick up a trade in the medical field. Because as you see, there will be more jobs needed in the medical profession, whether it be an x-ray technician, CNA, LPN, registered nurse, phlebotomist. My sister just got a certificate for that. So let me tell you. You have got to do something out here to eat and survive. Hell, if you got to pick up cans, go in your garage, sell stuff you know you're not using, you got to do what you got to do to eat and survive. Do what you got to do. Do it the legal way. Make your money. Take care of your home. Take care of you. And that is my blessing and my word today, everybody. Thanks for joining me. God bless all of you. Keep safe. Mask up. Wash your hands going in and out of your cars. That's something I read today. Wash your hands getting out of your car. Wash your hands getting in your car. Wash your hands when you make it home. Stay safe, America. God bless you. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below. And this is Everyday Shenanigans. Love you guys. Bye-bye.